So on Friday we saw a basic theory about the integrated extracts and all. So let's see something in practical based on the points which we had seen, right? Okay. So okay, the manager is stuck, so let me start the manager over here. So manager is up and over running now. Now what I'll do, I'll try to set up the integrated extract now, okay? And then uh, like how to handle them, like taking back and forth, how it is easy, you know, all that things we will see and how actually to do it in real time production also. Because uh, there might be a situation, for example, like we had a, a situation in which application actually in our case application team will give the table mapping okay like 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 how we do scott.emp right so they will give their own table name they will give the list in a separate file etc so what happened in that case uh, one of the application folks they give the wrong schema name so thing is like uh, the golden gate it will not fail it will just you know, skip it. So after a week, he realized that oh god, like the uh, schema name was wrong in the include file. So he requested us to correct the schema name, and he told us to take the extract back a week. Now that was an issue because in integrated extract, taking back a week was a big headache because what we have seen, it gets stuck. Ideally, as per the document of Oracle, it should not have any issue. But ideally, in the real time, it is getting stuck. So then, how to handle them? All right. So first, uh, let's see how to create it. Okay. So let me create the param file for that. And let me verify if the databases are up or not. This is the source. I'm starting the target as well. It's taking some time. Okay, now let me create the parent file for it. So parent, let me give the name of the extract like uh, ext. INT is at 7. Okay. And yes, one more thing you need to remember that the name of the process can be maximum 8 characters. Okay. So it's 7 here.
Okay, so if you just see here, for this one for difference here, I added tran log option, integrated param, max, what is the parameter tran log? Yeah, so max XGA size, right? So as I showed you yesterday, stream pool parameters, all right? So integrated extract will use the stream pools. All right, so this parameter, max SGA size 200 MB, okay, that's MB actually by default. The thing is, I'm maximum allowing this extract to use 200 MB of stream pool size. If I don't use it, the default would be 1 GB. Like even in your environment, uh, if you have two, three integrated extracts, okay, so ideally, Okay, that's just like it's like you know it's an ideal calculation, but not a thumb rule. For example, you have two integrated extra. Okay, so minimum you need three GB of stream pool plus some additional free spaces. That I'll show. I mean that is covered in the later half here. Uh, yeah, here you can see because stream pool is also used for data pump and all. So, okay, let me cover the test sizing. Okay, well, let's see for this sizing now. By default, one integrated capture extract requests the log mining server to run with the max SGA size of 1 GB and a parallelism of 2. Thus, if you are running three extracts in integrated capture mode in the same database instance, you would need at least 3 GB of memory allocated to the stream pool. Now, I mean in real time, even if you have three integrated extracts and if the stream pool is only one or two GBs, it will still work. This is actually in the case where all the three extracts are heavily loaded. At that point, you would see the memory errors. If the load is very, I mean, manageable among the three extracts, then it will not give you error with respect to the memory. But just in case, this, when I say, you need, like, if you have the three extracts, minimum you need to have three GB of stream pool, you know? So that is like a idealistic uh, scenario. But yes, if you have that, you would mostly not face any issue, all right? And now the best practice is keep 25% of the stream pool available. For example, if there are three extracts in integrated capture mode, set stream pool size to the following. So 3 GB and then 25% of the three, so 3.75. have 1 GB of stream pool size per, per, per process and additional 25% though it has not been explicitly mentioned in the guides. So even for the replicate we follow the same process. Note that the stream pool size is also used by other components of the database like Oracle streams, advanced queuing, data pump export import so make a make certain to take them into account while sizing the stream pool size for oracle and golden gate also so any is it fine is it clear so here what i did i just forced it to use only 200 not the if i don't give this parameter it will automatically expect 1 GB of stream pool. Understood, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope it's fine. Still, we need to configure stream. <coughs> okay, we have a doubt. Still, we need to configure stream to size even after using the trial log option in parameter yes 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 we need to I mean integrated extract it will use the stream pool 
ideally if in my case I have not set it let me check okay I have set it yeah. it is 200 be here see in my case I'm not gonna have the load of data and all right but in real time production it has to be in GBs so like we have an environment where even we have given 40 GB to stream pool as ideally it doesn't happen I mean you just, just try to log into your production and just try to check how much you gave to stream pool size I mean well, there are times when we you know try to allocate from okay it's 3 GB great so say it it's like it, so you're having a 3 GB of stream pool size in your place so how many integrated extracts you have at that place do that uh, calculation even if you have more extracts it will still ideally work unless and until all those extracts are being heavily processing at that point only they will give the memory error until then it is manageable also I like to share another use case with you guys I mean I cannot show you but I will show you what I faced it's a very interesting one um, for example okay let me take these extracts okay now these are the integrated extracts all right and for example stream pool is 3 GB okay now here how many extracts we have one two three four five so we have five integrated extracts now so what is the expected size here so five so it is five plus one plus two five it is six point two five GB stream pool size which it should have ideally isn't it you understood till this point yes, okay. now this was a suppose uh, a scenario I faced okay so the thing is uh, now I had this environment okay, where, I, where I had the five integrated extracts and this all I mean in tandem you know any of the extract were failing means like at one interval this was up then this failed this failed this in after an hour some other failed you know in that way why it failed because the stream pool size was not enough okay and for example this extract had lag of around three hours and others had a small lag of around 10 minutes and all or 20 minutes and no, the one which were running did not have any lag five minutes for example okay so you have a five extracts okay the first extract is up and ready which is having zero lag actually I should clear out this also it has not been checkpointed for one hour this has not been checkpointed for five minutes also five minutes Okay. so this is your for example your environment all right so extract one is up extract two is down having a lag of three hours not being checkpointed for one hour 
extract 3 is running with no lag. Extract 3a is having a lag of 10 minutes and extract 4 is having lag of 5 minutes. The thing is these three extracts at that point were failing with, uh, you know, memory not available and all. Because the stream full size was really no. Now tell me one thing. If you fa face this issue, will you increase the stream full size on the fly in your in environment? I'm talking about real time, okay? Ideally, it is understood that you have to increase the size. But I'm asking, will you do that real time on the fly, changing any memory parameter? Yes or no? Okay. I didn't so know, know, but uh, yeah, please. I didn't know then. But in this case, uh, all these extracts are, uh, about, I mean, suspended because of the memory issue, right? All right. But then, if you want to increase the space, for example, the max SGA size is, I mean, the memory target uh, parameter is, I mean, you know, uh, properly allocated among all the uh, components like okay. the DB, okay. cache and all. So, I don't think you will take some, you know, you, I mean, you will reduce something from the DB, cache and give to stream pool, isn't it? Then that, then yes. that will have another impact right if you reduce the cache size then the performance of the existing jobs can be affected right even yes. right understanding so now what to do it so what i did you know because even my case was the same thing even because just for the extract you cannot spoil anything else in your database yes so what i did i stopped this extract i stop the extract which were running. I stop this and I stop this. And then I started, this was first, second, and at the third step I started ext02. So when I stop the two running extracts, the stream pool size will be free, isn't it? Yes. It's like an adjustment. You are doing a load balancing yourself. So I stopped the two extracts and then I started the one abandoned here. And then it was up and running. Then I let it run. Okay. And once its lag was over, then again I stopped this one and I started these two. So once so that's how I manage the stream pool. Even with 3 GB, I managed it. And then when the lag of all the extracts were at zero, then I started all the extracts. Then it started to work. Because at that one particular interval, all the extracts had heavy load. So every extract was expecting their chunk of the stream pool which I mean few who got like ext01 and ext03 they were they were up but few who didn't they were abandoned so it's like an I mean it's like an adjustment where to stop those because here the latency was not there and all so I just stopped this then I started this then I waited for this latency to get over and then I started these two and then when everything, all the extracts were processed, I mean, this took me at least half an hour because even though the lag is three hours, it it ideally, you know, it's much faster. And then once the lag was over, then I started all the extracts. So you understood? How to handle in real time because changing memory parameter can invite any other unknown trouble. So you should not be in that situation. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Pascal, understood, right? Yeah, understood, Sri. But uh, when we stop the extracts which are currently running, 
to mm-hmm. release the space from the stream pool but mm-hmm. the tables which are part of that particular extract mm-hmm. are going to be affected right yeah temporary lag will have will happen right okay, temporary so lag will happen see if you see extract to is abandoned for 3 hours 3 hours imagine yeah. after it there right i agree yeah. when you stop this the temporary replication it will be affected but yes man there has to be some trade off isn't it yeah 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 you cannot expect that you insert a row in source it has to go in target actually that is what client expect i agree on that but since you know this situation where uh you know half of the extracts are failed yes. we need to start it so temporary you will make them affected that is true okay fine yeah i mean something we have to do right because we cannot uh, because in, in this case then we, i mean uh, you cannot take a uh, downtime to change the memory target and all etc right that would be a real big yeah, yeah. thing right in a um, yes, middle yeah. of the week we can't and ideally such things are planned for the weekend so if this thing happens in monday you cannot like you no know, wait till saturday to for it right yeah so yeah so the yeah so say so it like the permanent solution for this would be to ideally have enough stream pool size okay now in this case like with the work around make the extracts up okay and then in the next uh, maintenance window take the downtime and increase the memory parameters so that is the only thing so here if the stream pool size is enough this issue will not occur very simple so how when when you change the parameters at your organization that is one you need to check okay we clear right that's it i'm clear okay thank you so yes okay thank you no so that was the whole story behind the stream pool okay so let me create this uh, trail file location i think it's not there that's not there so let me make it what permission did i oh i missed a dot here sorry I was checking in uh, not there yeah now got so now how to add it all right so let me always when you i think i told you whenever you are adding any extract or what applicate db login is the must good practice i would say now the first thing is to do the register so register extract extract name database so when you are registering just have a look at the alert log also when i do a register it will allocate a log mining process with it
Okay, so it's giving me cannot register the extract. Oh, see here. Now we are hitting the memory parameter issue. Right? Yes. So now I will I have no choice but to increase it. But I'm not sure if I can increase it right away. Just give me some time. I'm trying to figure out how to solve this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shri, 
Free can I yeah. have the Orion number please? Yeah. That is uh, based in the group chat also. So let me try to flush the shared pool for now parallelly. This will not work, I suppose. Let me flush the buffer cache also. Because everything is stopped in my environment, so it's somehow you should not catch actually. Alright. Check now if is it working now. What is the last option would be then to increase all the sizes for me because my memory target is also 700 MB. So let's see. So I guess it will fail again, mm -hmm. as I can see in the alert log. So guys, who did you find anything? I feel that I should increase all the sizes now. Yes, I think you said that your memory target is 700 MB. So right, right, right. Taking 40% of it to... Mm -hmm. all right. Yep, it failed here. So, no issues. Give it to Make this as twelve hundred M. Okay. 
okay so this should look fine for it All right, so now let me start up. Oh, I should have set the SG, right? Sorry. Okay, this should work, right? Okay. It is small, sorry. Stream got increased to 600. So let me try now. Oh, 
Okay, so this here is the issue. It has also taken for those extracts which are stopped. These are the existing extracts are inactive. Even for that, the log miner has taken. All right. Now, yeah, that's open, right? Why are you saying this error? Listener might not be up. Okay. Well, yeah, now it is. So this issue is very rarely you, you will face in your you know broad environment because of course you will not have some 500 or 600 MB, isn't it? You will have some in, something in GBs only. All right, so it means that the count of the extract grew so high, I did not realize that, and because if you see here, the extract counts are very much high in my this test environment. So that's what it got exhausted. So you understood, I mean, the testing? That's good. Yeah, sorry, I was on mute. Yeah. So you understood, right? So what yes, we did, so what we exactly faced issue, simple and plain thing. I mean, like it was good that we faced this. Uh, the stream pool was not enough. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just a second. Okay, uh, okay, so you just asked about what is the max and minimum parallelism that can be used. So what I but remember, there is no open limit for the max, okay? Max can be infinite. That is what there in the Oracle document. Well, I have not tried it. I mean, I have maximum used six up till now, okay? Minimum, of course, is one. I mean, if you do one, then it will not use the minimal parallelism but the uh, for default I guess it will be more than one okay so maximum is infinite but that is clearly there in the oracle docs because if you set the parallelism to one in short you want to disable the parallelism, isn't it? So that's how it is. I mean, by default, at least we use two in case, but six is the maximum which I have seen in my environment. I mean, it depends on the environment which you have to use. As far I remember, the default is four parallelism. I'm not sure of that, but 
that's how it is because we don't ideally go with anything uh, by default if i want to i'll write two if i want five i'll write five i don't let it leave it okay okay so now so what you have done here is you have registered the extract okay Okay, so even ASH gave me that my book components are not up to my mark. Anyways, that's good. So, this, I mean, when I do register, we allocate a log minor, okay? So I think this might fail later also. So, I have a check. So, what I'll do for now, you know, the other integrated extracts right I will try to remove them I'll unregister them I don't want them to you know, creating issues for me now so you can see here stream care capture dropped dropped And every extract has a log minor, okay, with it. So yes, so that's gone. Sure. Then now let us see how to add them, all right. So the parameter file is done, all right. And yes, in case if you get any error, you can do it this way, okay. I mean, since it was dev environment, I directly ran this uh, workaround, but in your production, you will need to apply the patch, all right. Just in case, keep it handy with you guys, in case if you face issue. Like if your version is up to date and all, then I don't think you will face anything here. All right. So now let's add the extract. All right. So you have registered the extract and you got the message. Okay. So here you got this message. Let me give a full screen here. Yeah. And you get an SCN also here. Okay, you get an extra. So from this SCN, the extract is over registered now. All right, so as I told you in the theory, you cannot alter your extract earlier to this timestamp to which it was registered. So you can see the time it is 11.21. So I'll show you in the practical, okay? Now, let me again view the panel. All right, now let's add it, all right? So adding is this two statements. So add, extract, extract name. Now I give you integrated. Until now, for the classic, I was just giving tran long, but for integrated, I'm giving a keyword here, integrated. Adding this extra, done. So when you do info on this extract, here it is, Oracle integrated worry do long. So in just in case, if I ask you, with the extract name, how will you identify if it is integrated or classic? So when you do info extract name, and if you get an integrated keyword, of course it is integrated. For classic, you will have Oracle redo log here. Okay. 
and so now this is only a single instance so you will have the redo log for only one of one instance so for example it's a two node rack and you will have the same uh, thing for the thread two also so you have two threads here but since it is integrated for nothing just an oracle yeah, integrated redo log this keyword will help you to identify whether it is classic or integrated It's clear up till now. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Sayed. Okay, thank you. Now, let's try to play a bit, okay, with this. So let me start this extract for now. All right, so now it is not starting. It means something is wrong. So let me check the report file. Okay, I think it is starting only. Yeah, it was running. It just gave the output a bit slow. It's running. But now see here the SCN is still zero. So it has still not, I would say, configured to read it properly. So why? You can see it is in recovery still. So in integrated, you need to give some time to come for the extract to come out of recovery. So until the time it is in recovery, then you do send extract status. When it is recovery, it means it is not doing anything. Okay, now it is out of recovery. Now we can see which redo thread, which archive sequence, until what RB of that sequence. SCN it is populated now. Earlier you see even the SCN was zero. Everything was zero. So when you are seeing extract in this status for long, it means it's an issue here. Okay, it means like uh, it is actually stuck. It is not doing anything for long. All right, because uh, if you remember, we yesterday we spoke right to alter the extract ahead of time and before of time, right? So at that point, you need to very well look at the send extract status. And this has to, be, ideally, it has to be recovery complete. And all, all this should be filled up. But by any case, if it is in over recovery for long time, for example, an hour or so, then it's something to worry about then. Because until it is in our recovery, it is not doing anything. Is it fine? Understood. I mean, this you can, I mean, if you face this in real time, you will get more, I would say, correlate more actually. Okay, Bhaskar, were you also right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. So now. But I think in yesterday's class, we discussed when the extract is in a recovery state, it means uh, it reading the log minor checkpoint yes. table. Exactly. Uh, yes, that is true. That is true. That but is true, right? Yeah, but yeah, well, that is true. But thing is like, you know, uh, as I told you in my real time uh, experience, it's like, when I when we had taken the extract back, I mean like it was I think Tuesday where we understood the issue, and we tried to move it to Friday. I mean like around three four days back. Okay. Back. Yeah. 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 But what I, what we saw that it was in recovery state. I mean when I did alter extract, 
and I gave the time of Friday. Okay. It was for two hours. It was just sitting like this. Okay. Sequence zero, RBA zero. So you cannot give client that reason, right? Yes, yes. Client is on your head. I mean, he doesn't care. So because I cannot wait, frankly speaking, I won't wait. So what I did, I downgraded it to classic and then I altered it. Because in classic, it just needs to update the checkpoint file. But in integrated, along with the checkpoint file, it has to update the log minor checkpoint table. Okay. Uh, so the see I mean, I mean, I how how this particular binary is going to in sync with Rman? Let's say that okay, uh, yes. uh, Rman also when we ran the hourly or uh, every three hours when we ran the archive log file backup and deleting the files, mm -hmm. and uh, so that time, let's say that if the ex extract is uh, running behind. The Arma right. schedule, then how these right. two binaries are going to be in sync, and uh, if it's Good standby, we, we will see that okay, saying that okay, this archive is needed for the recovery, it will not allow us to delete until we force. Correct. Uh, like that, how these right. two binaries uh, are going to be in sync? Yes. So when you fire this register extract extract name, it uh -huh. it indirectly holds a lock on the archives. This statement, even this, you you can do for the classic extract also. Okay. If you see in classic extract, we uh, we don't do per register, but yes, if you want it to have a lock on the archives also, then also we can do so. With this register statement, it has a lock. So thing is, uh, error. I think I have posted here. One second. It is error is here. Okay. Yeah, Armen will not delete any archive log that indicator the cat capture. All right. Means it needed by it. So we have to delete archive if space is getting full, otherwise the database will be compromised. So that is true. Like you know, uh, the thing is, for example, um, let me show you a case. Now take this extract, okay? For example, ext int2. This is integrated or uh, classic? Integrated. Integrated, great. Now this has been stopped for around five, around 600 hours, okay. And now if I run the Armen cleanup job, uh, then it will, this it will be stuck because this extract is holding a lock still. Basically, if you check this view, DBA capture. I think these are the views which were used for the Oracle streams also. I'm not much aware of streams, but yes, I've read it. I mean, I've had a basic intro. Status, where is the status? I unregistered it, right? Sorry, sorry. If you see here, for this EXT2, I had unregistered here, right? I unregistered here, so yeah, I don't yeah, have any. Yeah, yeah. Let me choose something which is still registered here. This. Yeah, so this we have here, entry, EXT, 
03a, ext 03a. And here, status is enabled and captured SCN is there, this. So, oh, this is actually, I guess, a low SCN. Let me check if I can get the timestamp to timestamp. Okay, it is 3rd May. See here. Now we are in okay. 25th and this is 3rd May. The thing is, if now archive log will not be able to clean the job of 3rd May. Because this extract is still on the 3rd May itself, right? But and in this, this case, are, uh, the, the maintaining uh, archive log files and its backups are... Uh, little bit complicated, right? Uh, I mean, yes, it's, it's, it's not complicated. actually wrong. We have to handle it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is true. I mean, if you have such a case, this is actually wrong. You should not have extract still, you know, in third May. I mean, like, I because this extract is stopped for so long, right? It has been stopped for yeah. two, three weeks, which is wrong, actually. Yes. Either you delete the extract or do something. But you, you you should not have any process stop for so long because it will hold the RMN job. Yes. What you said is true. We cannot, or you cannot hold your RMN job for the cleanup of the archives and all. Because if you compromise and thought that the even the database can go down, isn't it? Yes. You have to delete. If you don't delete archive, what database availability is compromised, isn't it? So always a thumb rule. Even if the extract fails, you know, let it be. We can fix it. But don't let the database availability hamper due to Golden Gate. Understanding? In some of the other case, I can solve it. I will do initial load. Again, I will somehow solve it. But have your database up every time. OK, these are some warnings. I, I, I agree yeah. that, that uh, log should be released automatically, right? So no, the uh, log will be released only if the extract is up. So for example, okay. uh, this extract. Let me show you here. So this extract is abandoned, right? So let me start it. I think it's, it, it might be the password issue. Yeah. So now when you saw here, this was the captured SCN, isn't it, for this extract? Right? Yes. Okay, this is still in starting. So let's give it some time. I'll be just mute. I'll just have some water, okay? Just a second. So now, if you see, it is the latency has been consumed, isn't it? Now let's check this view. See here, the SCN has been updated, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's updated. It was one seven seven one nine five. What is one nine seven zero? Do this SCN two timestamp. It is the latest one. 
27 may yes yes so thing is if your extract is stopped for so long for sure it will block rmn hmm. that is something wrong yeah. then you have to check why it is down who did that check with app team guys do you really need it if not delete it simple yeah and is it right so you yeah yeah okay all right so these are the standard warnings which you which you know which you can get the following archive log needed by streams golden gate captcha being deleted to free of space etc also in rmen job we can get some error like you know archive log not deleted and needed for standby or upstream capture proper process that will give some archive sequence this error is is mostly seen when an old extract which was were registered was not removed correctly so you can check the dba capture view with status at as uh, disable all right and uh, you can also use this uh ls kill procedure in case if you are not able to unregister it now if you saw here we un registered to extract isn't it sometimes you won't this will also fail if this fails then you have to use this pls kill procedure to forcefully drop it okay okay here is the query also you can forcefully drop this also okay all right uh right an extract have been for long or extract not deleted in the correct, correct way and its entry were remains in the dba capture so as i told you if an extract is stopped or abandoned for long then it will hold a lock and that is where it it will create issues for your rmen job yeah all right is it okay good yeah good get any doubt up till now okay fine so where was i where is my extract here so let's try to play with it a bit more okay So let me stop the extract. This was added at around 11:21. Now the time is 11:48. Okay. Now let me try to take the extract backwards. Okay. Okay. Alt extract. Begin. Give the time stamp here. 1125 okay will it be successful it was registered at 1121 yes okay baskar yes right it will all right so yes You, you both were correct. It got altered. So currently, it has still not uh, taken into effect since SCN is zero. So let me check the status. Okay. So since it's my non-prod environment, there's hardly any pull transaction. It is super fast. But don't expect this to happen in your production. real well okay now now you are in a situation where you need to take this extract earlier to 1121 let's check if that happens or not
let me do it 1120 okay will this work no okay thank you both of you so let's see so you saw here extract cannot be section to the specific timestamp so specified timestamp sorry you understood why yeah that is right yeah. yeah so that's the thing so that is why i had told you if you remember during initial load and if you're using integrated extract please have the extract added uh, first if you remember the thumb rule i told you guys you remember yes sir yes sir why i told you this because for example after export and import then if you try to register your extract it cannot go backwards and start isn't it So that's why before only add your extracts and then only start your export. Okay, now another now since this is stopped, okay. So let I will show you uh, the best way. Okay, uh, I mean going backwards is fine. I mean I hope you understood. But what about moving forward now? So let it be stopped for some few minutes, okay? In the meanwhile, we'll try to cover some theory. Okay. Now, integrated extract is mined through old archive logs, even when altering to begin now. So this is what I wanted to show. Uh, here, like, we faced one issue, okay? Uh, I still don't, uh, I mean, we are still skeptical why it happened. Uh, we had an, um, the migration, so we added the extract and then we altered it to begin now. For what I saw that when I, once I started the extract, it was in recovery state for an hour or so. And when I checked the alert log file, it was scanning the archive logs of two three week back which didn't make any sense to me isn't it if you're telling you now today's 27th and if you alter the extract alter extract begin now so it should start from today right but it was scanning the archive log of 20th may and all which actually had no sense and why so let's go through it even if i.e. that is integrated extract is altered to begin now the capture process still has to go through the intermediate log before reaching the altered position and the log has to be physically present this is how i behaves currently if altered so thing is even if you alter it to begin now it will scan like a serial way one, two, it, it will all scan the old archive log until it reaches the current one. To skip the logs or alter the extract to begin now, the capture process has to be unregistered or registered followed by alter to begin now. Doing so, the log miner capture process and the IE. Log miner capture process and the I, I mean it sets I to the current SCN so a resync is uh, needed there is an announcement for request being tracked in a bug so I'll explain this in the practical okay so this is what I was about to show you guys mm, yeah timestamp yes uh, say it you are correct I think uh, with timestamp, it will properly take. That's what I have seen. But still, I cannot be very sure because 
it worked for me then not sure will it work for everyone else because uh, i even oracle is not giving a standard even in sr they don't give a, you know strong statement yes it will work but yes i uh, with a, scn if i alter it with scn i have seen it giving issues but with time stamp i have seen it work pretty well that is true but that is for my environment i cannot guarantee it will work everywhere okay so now for example uh, your extract is stopped right now it it has been stopped for all, around 6 um, minutes okay and you want to you now in real time for example if you have stopped the extract for long for example 2 3 hours or a day or so and then you want to alter it to begin now ideally in classic extract we do alter extract begin now of oh, alter extract extract name the begin now right even integrated you can do the same way but uh this will uh, be a bit slow actually if you have stopped it for really long time that is 2 3 weeks so five six days don't try this yeah but if you have stopped for few hours it will take some time to come out of recovery for example if you stop the extract at 1 am and then at 4 am you try to begin now i extract so you, you can at least expect you know 20 30 minutes it will be in for recovery so don't be panic right it's fine because if an extract is in recovery means it is not doing it is not actually started to capture that's what it means it is just trying to read through its old checkpoints and all and the worry do and archive the old ones so now how to do it how to i mean now once you are doing begin now so you are saying that yes i want to skip the archives right like from 1 am you stopped and at 4 am if you want to do begin now so you are openly saying that i want to skip the archives from 1 to 4 isn't it or the ch- changes from 1 am to 4 am are you like uh, following me pascal also yeah 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 sir yes yeah. sir yeah. yeah yeah so so what i will do here is let me db login so i will unregister unregister extract database Okay, look for the EST seven. Okay, now I have stopped it, so it is about disabled now, and this is the current SCN. So when I do unregister, here, here also the log minor process is dropped here. So successfully unregister, and if you check the DBA ca- capture view, it is gone. See here. Okay. Now again register.
So it has been created. You see here, extract successfully registered. And again, if you do, do, do this, see here, it came here again. Now, now we can do alter extract. Even if you don't do begin now, that's fine. But just do it. Begin now. Immediately it will be, I mean, this is a very faster way when you want to alter your extract ahead of time. That is with the begin now. Okay, it is initializing, so it will not work. We have to wait for some time. But it's still in starting state. So we have to wait. Okay. Anyway, so this unregister and register statement, okay, be very, very careful. I'll give you an example. Uh, like we were doing the migration of the Golden Gate processes from one frame to another. Since the database was migrated, so one of the folks, uh, he was facing some issue in extract, all right, in the integrated extract. And he just, you know, searched Google and all, which is the wrong thing. You should always search the MOS link. And in one of the blogs, they gave this solution, unregister and register. And the extract was stopped for three hours. Now he did that. But it means that when he did that, extract was almost like a begin now. So the three hours data was all skipped. So please, this unregister or register do only when you are really sure. So only when you alter it to begin now. And once you have the go ahead, only then touch it. But just don't follow any blog blindly. Luckily, the data was not much, so it was okay. The uh, I mean, application team they told that fine, you know, even if those data is not captured, but they were fine. But in case of production, it has been a major issue. Understanding, right? Unregistered, yeah. registered, not to be played around. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, just a one query, if in a application teams told that they are going to do some R&D on the production and they want to stop that this extract and they want to start it after eight hours. So this would be the best one to go yes, yes, with yes. these steps. Yes, yes, because when application team itself is saying, I want to start it after eight hours, means if application team is saying, we want, we want the extract to skip those eight hours, Perfect. No issues. If application team itself is saying, then fine. That is what it is. So when they are saying, yes, then you can unregister and register. But yes, you need to confirm with app when you are doing this unregister and register. There is no transaction which is required to be captured. Because this will skip it. Understand? Uh, understood, Sayur? Once you are doing unregister and register during this time, there should not be any DML happening on those respective tables for which the extract is I mean, configured to capture. This you, you need to ensure. And yes, when application team told that I need to start it after 8 hours, it means that when they were saying that we want to skip those eight, skip those eight hours, perfect. So you can do it this way, all this way. I mean, if you want, just take it as an exercise. Don't do it this way and just do an alter extract again. You will yourself see how much time the extract is taking to come to that point to the current time. So this will make it faster for the extract. Yeah. 
if you directly fire this statement without unregistered or registered extract will take a lot of time to come into in sync but this will make it faster okay okay so my extract is also out of recovery all right so this is how you need to play with the integrator extract so that's what i am saying like integrator extract in terms of handling you need to be very careful with guys classic you can just play around handy not to be integrated is that okay clear yes okay so all right that was in depth uh, theory on integrated ones okay any doubt in this 